hello everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how you can create an extension solution using visual studio code and how you can download symbols by authenticating yourself on business central online sandbox so let's do it to do this first click on view in visual studio code and choose command palette and then choose AL Go. I hope you already installed AL extension. You can find it how to install it uh, by uh, looking into a link in description. So here I'm going to give a path where I want to create an extension. You can change it. Otherwise, uh, by default, system will take this path. Uh, see users your username and documents el and the project name so now this is the path where i'm going to create my project so under development i want to create an app called class app uh, when you enter then this will give you another option to choose target platform the target platform means which platform a business central that you are going to target to deploy this extension so right now I'm using business central online so I will choose the latest version 7.0 and hit enter then uh, after this an app will be created extension solution will be ready so when it is ready it will ask for which mode which environment you want to do this development is it for cloud sandbox or for your own server so i am doing this for microsoft cloud sandbox so i will choose this so this will create another launch.json file in this visual studio code so this is the launch.json that is created so as here you can see language client is not ready yet so what we have to do it for this we have to download the extension see symbols are missing to download the symbol you can directly click on this download symbol or if this option is not available for you then again you can go to view command palette and look for another AL commandlet that is download symbols choose it so this solution will going to uh, give this particular authentication key you just have to copy and open when you click on this copy and open this will open in the browser where you have to enter that password next now you have to choose your account so i choose my account as it is saying you have signed into dynamic 365 developer application on your device you may close this window now here in the output section you can see this trying to provide the authentication to this particular extension and when it will turn it will download some symbols here in uh, al packages so here you can see three different AL packages has been downloaded. One is Microsoft application, another is Microsoft system application, third one is Microsoft system. You can wait for a few seconds and all the principles have been downloaded. Now if I go to problems, problem is removed now. Previously the problem was because of this. The customer list was not available so now it is available so our solution is ready I don't need this hello world so I can just delete it this is deleted so I can hit F5 here at this stage to deploy the solution app to my online business central account as you can see it is authenticating uh, using this user account that i am using 
to log into Business Central here. So you can see the package has been successfully uploaded to the server. So you know uh, we are using a sandbox mode. So we can just move to sandbox from here directly, or you can search on sandbox and production environment and open sandbox. This will the same thing as you can write sandbox in the URL. So as the method said here, this app is published to the server. So let's go. Uh, this is the app class app. This is successfully installed here. Oh. Installed here. You can see the name of the app. Description is blank. Version is one. These are the by default setup here. So in next video, I'll show you how you can give the details to your app. So that's it for this video. To know more about Business Central Development, please do like, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.